Hey Doc, you want to know what's new at the Finnegan's house? It's our waterproofing system for the basement. You want to do a little walkthrough and I can point and show you some things? Sure, I knew you would. Here we go. There's the long staircase down to my basement. And as you can see, we had to pull everything away from the walls. Yep, <clears throat> so here's my back, the French doors out to my backyard. And what they do is they put this uh, like drain system here. In the event that you had water coming in over the threshold, it would grab it in this drain system and transport it. So all the way around the perimeter of my basement is this trench which has a perforated pipe uh, wrapped in a fabric and it's pitched and this is a clean out so that they can periodically open this guy up and jet water in and make sure that it runs freely and so all of this stuff has this with this pipe it's pitched all to one to one section of the uh of the floor since i have a, a, a reasonably big basement we needed to put in uh two different uh pit locations and then eject them out so as you can also see what they do here is they drill some weep holes you can get up close you see these weep holes that they're drilling into the block so that way in the event that any moisture is coming in from the from the dirt outside um, it goes down into this system in here goes into the perforated pipe and gets transmitted all the way over here into the pit where there's going to be a pump and that pump will push, when it fills up to a certain level, will push it up this pipe, up into my ceiling, over, and it goes into, uh, goes into that white sanitary right there, and then out to the street. So you can also see in certain areas uh, of my foundation wall, these big white pieces of real heavy mill plastic. And behind there is what they, they did crack repairs. And these crack repairs, or in some cases pretty extensive. So <clears throat> what they do is they repair the crack so that the water can't push in the wall. And then they put like a, 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 fill, a sealant inside it and then they put this really heavy thing on over top of it. So in the event that that thing ever springs a leak again, it'll hit this, it'll go all the way down and then it'll go behind. They have this thing called a mirror drain which, which is right up against here, almost like a baseboard. And that will transmit that down into the stone, down into the pipe, out to the pit, and then out of the house. So essentially what it does, since you're a scientist, and I know you know all about this stuff, it creates like a low pressure zone. I had some, I had some serious cracks over here. Crack where the, um, you know, where, the, where the sanitary line goes out to the sewer. Crack where my water comes in. And a crack over here as well, um, the corner of the foundation. So the crack repair is really good. They did a great job with that. And this is the mirror drain that you're seeing right here. So this stuff, uh, basically, I might be able to show you a better spot over here where it goes. It almost looks like baseboard. And it's, it's like this real heavy plastic waffly thing. And it kind of goes down here and comes up. So anything that comes down that wall gets transmitted back down into the trench, into the fabric uh, wrapped pipe, and then out of here. So. Let me see if he's got it placed anywhere he does. All right. So yeah, here you go. So yeah, so here you go. He's just got this drain wrapped so that when they put the concrete in there. Now when this is done, this is just gonna be finished, be finished concrete. So it'll look newer than this concrete because this is 23 years old, but it'll be flush and flat and it'll go right up to the wall. You'll be able to, I'll be able to, you know, uh, build over top of it, put flooring over top of it and all. So this is what it looks like here. So they're gonna pour concrete on top of this thing. And this mirror drain uh, right here uh, is for anything that would come out of the foundation wall so it can go down behind and down into the drain and it goes all the way along and then that's another clean out over here um, so that they can just jet that out of here okay so that is the sum total of it doc that's how it works so basically all you're trying to do is create a way um, to get the water out of here uh, give it a low pressure zone anything that would come in through the foundation wall anything that would come over like i said through the through there through the uh, like the threshold here uh any hydrostatic 
pressure that might even come from underneath the slab where you're standing too. So you could have hydrostatic water pressure that's in the center of the slab and it will seek the low pressure zone of that pipe, that perforated pipe, and give it a place to go so it can get out of here like it doesn't belong. Okay, Doc, hopefully that was instructive. But basically when, you, when they're done, what you'll be left with is basically a, a completely flush, patched uh, concrete uh, area um, around the perimeter of your uh, of your basement. Now, if you have old masonry walls, which I think you do in your house, you'll probably have that fabric all the way down the wall, so that you know any mortar joint that might spring a leak, it'll transmit that on down. I have poured walls, and 23 years of cracks. I really don't have a whole lot to speak of, so it was just easier to do a crack repair and then to have that mirror drain that goes all the way around the perimeter. So hopefully this was helpful. Todd's helpful tips. Okay, doc, we'll see you.